Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at Wise Uninstaller. Is it wise to install it or not? Let's find out. Okay, so on today's video, we'll be taking a look at Wise Uninstaller, which is something which uh, actually some of you guys out there have uh, recommended that we try, and actually, we've got the perfect opportunity. We've uh, made the mistake, I say we. I mean, I have actually made the mistake of installing some ASUS software on a computer and uh, yeah, it just won't uninstall. We've changed the motherboards and it just refuses to uninstall as is quite often the case with ASUS software. So yeah, this is becoming somewhat of a running theme at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is try Wise Uninstaller, see what it's like, see if it gets rid of the ASUS AI Suite 3 and uh, hopefully we can all sleep peacefully at night. Let's get over to the computer and see what it's like. Okay, so this is our PC, so Windows 10 installation, all the latest updates, etc., etc. And this is what happens when I try and boot up. So it says that the uh, basically Asus AI Suite 3 Windows cannot find parts of it. So it looks like it's kind of partially uninstalled. If we go into apps and features here, go into AI Suite and choose uninstall, click uninstall, it will go through, it will try and do the removal, all that kind of usual stuff, and we'll get to a point where it'll just fail altogether. And in fact, it looks like it already has because it still says uninstall. So as you can see, it wasn't installed actually that long ago. It's uh, literally three days ago. So it's not a long time for something to go wrong. So clearly it's something with the... Well, actually, is it doing something in the background? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, so we've got all this stuff. AI suite, yeah, cannot load image files. It's basically, it's trying to... Uh, load something it just keeps on doing all this stuff on startup yeah it's just horrendous and i'll try it again just to be on the safe side because i know someone's going to say in the background yeah and there we go so it's just it's not having any of it at all so we'll give up on that for now let's head over to the uh, wise cleaner sorry wise program uninstaller i guess you can call it whatever you want to it is a free download which is uh, always a nice thing to see and it seems to be coming quite highly recommended from the folks over at CNET and ZDNet, etc. So let's uh, see what it's all about. Now I've not actually used this before, so this is a uh, completely virgin territory for me. So what we've got going on here, this looks actually very much like the uh, Piriform installer for CCleaner. So it seems to have already started the download there. There's an exe file, so let's go ahead and open that. And we get the user account control, as you'd expect. So what have we got here? Uh, yeah, this looks very similar to the Piriform one. I'm going to check this out here, custom installation, just to see if it's actually going to do anything else. It doesn't appear to be wanting to install anything else, so you can change the location. You have to accept the agreement. So let's go ahead and click install. And now we get the option to see the user guide and release logs and also launch the program. So let's go ahead and launch the program. And clearly they're going to try and sell you something as an upgrade. Let's get rid of all that. So this is the WISE program uninstaller, found 16 programs occupying two gigabytes of space. So uh, the one we actually want to get rid of, actually, there is AI Suite 3, so we know we want to get rid of that. Let's have a, a quick look down through, see if it's found anything else which I was unaware of. No, that all seems to be uh, absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and choose AI Suite. So we've got a choice for safe uninstall or forced uninstall. So let's try the, the safe uninstall first of all. Oh, actually no, we haven't got an option there, so that's my mistake, so we just have to click on uninstall. Like I said, I've never used this before, so let's see what it's like. Uh, please wait until the previous uninstallation is complete. Hmm, that's interesting. So let's try forced. So please choose forced only when safe doesn't work, blah, 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 yep. Please wait until the previous uninstallation is complete. So this looks like uh, potentially a little bit of a failure. So what I think I'm going to try and do, let's do Alt Control Delete. We're going to Task Manager, and that is running. Let's see what apps are still trying to do stuff. If the easiest one is going to be in here, it doesn't appear to be. But I can see at the moment. So. Let's, uh, let's do a restart and see if that gives it a little bit more chance of doing it. So I'm going to close that down, hit restart. Uh, yeah, this isn't looking as good as what I thought it was going to be already, so yeah, let's restart. 
Okay, so Windows has restarted now, so let's go uh, straight into the WISE program uninstaller. And we'll choose the AI suite again. We'll try the normal uninstall first of all, see what happens. Ah, yeah, seems to want to do it now. So maybe you do have to do a reboot. Didn't specifically say you had to, as part of the installation routine. We'll see where this goes. Okay, so I've probably fast forwarded through that a little bit. Uh, this has taken about two or three minutes already. And what we got here, so yeah, again, the ASUS software is still trying to run in the background, it seems to. And here we go. So it looks like the, yeah, the uninstaller failed to do it there. It's a safe uninstall. So let's try the forced uninstall now. So yeah, that seems a little bit more like it. So it's analyzed the locations and also the registry entries. And let's have a quick scan through there. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much everything in the AI suite folders and startup entries, that kind of thing. So let's uh, remove all. So it's actually creating a snapshot, like a system restore point. So it's got rid of it. Happy days. Obviously, if you want to, you can go through and try everything. So you can try and get rid of some of the Metro apps, so such as Cortana. Actually, that's an interesting one. I wonder if it will actually get rid of Cortana. I don't think it will, but let's try it. Oh, it did. Happy days, we like that. Uh, Microsoft Edge. I wonder if we can get rid of Microsoft Edge. Yep, got rid of Microsoft Edge. I like this. Uh, Microsoft, your thing. Let's get rid of that. Happy days. We've managed to get rid of Edge. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used this software. And yeah, it actually uh, seems quite good. So let's see if what happens when we open up something which requires Microsoft Edge. That appears to be in Microsoft Edge. So it hasn't actually got rid of Edge because there we go, closed Microsoft Edge. So yeah, that is in there. So it hasn't got rid of it. It's got rid of the, uh, the Metro app, but it hasn't got rid of the actual Edge program itself. But anyway, we tried. Okay, so there you have it. There is uh, the WISE software uninstaller or WISE installer, whatever you want to call it. Not bad. Got the job done eventually. Uh, we needed to do a restart on the system and we did have to do the force uninstall, which I guess is pretty much similar to what we would have ended up doing with Revo uninstaller. So yeah, it seems to work. Doesn't appear to have any weird quirks or anything odd going on with it. It pretty much does what it says on the tin. Doesn't seem to install any malware, spyware or other unnecessary software. So yeah, looks pretty good. And obviously if Revo for some reason doesn't work for you or your traditional uninstaller doesn't work, then maybe worth checking out Wise. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments section, or do you have a specific program that you like using? Is there like an installer or a portable version that you particularly like using? If so, please let me know in that comment section and maybe we'll try it out next time we install some horrible ASUS software. So I think that's gonna wrap this one up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.